Dollar signs be damned. Which seafood is the best of the high seas? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Who do you think the she in She Sells Seashells by the Seashore is? And oh. how much do you think she was selling them she shells for? Oh, you want me to tell you who the she in she shells she seashells, seashells by, by the seashore, seashore is? And how much and is she selling them she shells for, for, for? for? Yes. I think she, it's Shelly. <laughs> okay. We're selling them seashells uh, for probably 75 cents a piece. Okay, that's an interesting theory. <laughs> but here in California, when it comes to seafood options, there are plenty of fish in the sea. There's also plenty of price points in the sea. So we have cast a or wide cast net. a wide net and come back with some seafood dishes of all different prices. But which one will catch our interest, hook, mm. line, and sinker? It's time for Naked Foods, Naked Seafood Edition, Naked. Each seafood dish we're gonna be trying today will be naked. Meaning there will be no packaging, no fancy size, and nothing else to influence our impressions. They will be completely naked. This way we can solely focus on the taste of each dish to decide which is best, and maybe we'll be tasting soul. I was, I, I was gonna ask you, was that, uh, that was a pun? <laughs> soul, like Dover soul. We'll be sampling seafood dishes from four different price points. They are the grocery store, frozen or refrigerated section, <laughs> local fast food, casual, fast casual restaurants, sit down restaurants like Bubba Gump, which has never been good to me, and uh, several fine dining restaurants in the LA area. And let me tell you, they are fine. Oh, each round we'll pick our favorite dish. Then Stevie's gonna tell us where each dish came from and how much they cost so that in the end, we will know how expensive our seafood palates are and which fish dishes are worth paying for. Was that a wahoo joke or a weehoo joke? <laughs> Simultaneous, Shelly. Yeah, let's say ahoy to our first dish. This is calamari. And if you, this is the most drastic difference from plate to plate I've seen in, in the exercise of this series. These have no batter at all. What on the earth? Well, Okay. Now, a lot of people say that cheap calamari is just pig anuses. Well, I'll be the judge of that. Having eaten it? Well, that's not good. That's not even worth finishing. <laughs> yep, going in the trash. <clears throat> you know what? It's gotta actually be good for me to like send it down the gullet. At I don't this think point. it, I think it might've been better earlier in the day. And these, these are what, like, like Frozen food section. But <laughs> there's no. Tastes pretty good though. Yeah. That's gotta be frozen section, but it that's, tastes good. That's better to me. Now first of all, what's the difference between this and this with the with the with the oh, legs? Yeah, I don't I don't like to eat the leggy part because that makes me think about what it is. So that's the squid body that's just been carved out. I up. don't you know, I'm just not gonna think about it. But that was that was good. Oh, and the it's peppery. It does get a little fishy. Now this th one is. This one's peppery too. Spongier. It seems the most authentic. It's less uniform. Mm hmm. I just don't like calamari. I think that's what it's coming down to. But I'm going to vote because there's. I, <laughs> I might actually vote for that. Okay. I don't. Um, you can just like nicely pick which ones are your favorites because it's just really up to you. Yeah, that's right. <clears throat> I'm going to stab you with it. No. Um, Can't have this one. It's mine. I agree. I don't, I don't think this is the fanciest one, but it is my favorite one. I really like it. I almost went with what I think is frozen, though. Guys, this is the first. You both picked the frozen one. This one's frozen? Yeah, that's Safeway's Waterfront front Bistro. Hey, I'm pulling up to the Waterfront calamari. Safeway. Safeway, y'all. Yeah, six eighty nine. So the one without breading from the left, we have... The fine dining one, Ocean Prime Point Judith Calamari for we 25 bucks. We don't yeah. hide behind breading with our calamari. <laughs> then the casual Fish King Calamari, oh. $12.95. And finally, the sit down Neptune's Net Calamari for $15.25. Oh, Neptune's Net, by the way, I recently stopped by there on a trip up the coast. And I did not get the calamari, but I got their fish and chips and it was incredible. They know what they're doing. I just think something got lost in translation. I mean, this makes sense that I like the least calamari calamari on the thing, but good job, Safeway. Yeah. This is clam chowder. I, I consider myself- A chowder man? Uh, I've, I've been through some clam chowder. 
because I liked it. I like it, and I like to order it. You've been through it like you got. You were once surrounded by it. I no, I it? go through some clam chowder. Is what I'm trying to say. Not too thick. Not too flavorful. I don't think that's too bad. I like. I don't like it too thick or too thin. But that just didn't have what I was hoping for. This looks a little more interesting. Mmm. Much more creamy. Wow. That's 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 got that's got. That's got lots a nice, of flavors. Nice punch of flavor. I said flavors. Yeah, I'm 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 de chowdering my spoon. You gotta de chowder your spoon. My spoon, and I'm still going from on, on my side just so. Now this all this also looks super chunky yeah, and interesting. It's got some uh, chives in it, maybe. Mmm. Celery forward. It is too celery forward. If that's one of the first things you can taste, i.e. forward, that's a problem. I predict this is gonna be bad. You're doing that dad breathing over here. That's not good. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not gonna spit it out. Okay. I'm. I, I'm, I'm gonna I'm, have some decorum. I'm spitting. I'm spitting it out just like I do in restaurants, just so I don't have to tell them what I think of it. No. I mean, listen. Oh my, we were. Yeah. We this were, is. This is. This is automatic. First of all, we're for on, the people. We're on the same page. Is this the frozen one? I hope so. That is the fine dining. <clears throat> Yeah, one, we, uh, so you both get to do a fancy pants right. dance together. But we get it's a dance with a fish this time, right? Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at that, man. We like fancy clam chowder, but you knew that about, about us. You knew we were fancy chowder boys. Yeah, that's from I King's mean, Fish House. That it's is good. $9. And then from the yeah. left we have Walmart's Bad. market side clam chowder for three twenty seven, Bubba Gumps Bubba for Gump, seven ninety nine, two, two celery, and then Fish King for five ninety five. Huh. Hmm. I'm disappointed in you, Fish King, because you normally don't disappoint. I just want to take a second to humbly invite you to check out the Mythical Kitchen channel. Mm -hmm. Humbly. I'm so proud of the work they're doing over there. But humble, humble, bro. humbly, yeah. Josh, this Nicole, is a, it's a humble brag. Trevor, Trevor, you're even over there. Hello. Doing stuff on the Mythical Kitchen channel, putting out all types of interesting recipes and food creations. Check them out. Don't knock it until you try it, like me and this. Uh, Stevie, what is this? This is salmon. Oh. This is salmon. Oh. And these are salmon dishes that, that, like the most straightforward salmon dish that each place has to offer. Yeah, which, that's correct. Which, that, which this one has some sort of sauce on it. That tastes or smells like a garlic butter. That's a pretty tasty Ooh, salmon. That is garlicky salmon. This grill got to see the grill marks. That's that's a good salmon. Mm-hmm. This is more. Whoa, whoa! It just popped right off. It of looks kind of burnt. It looks like it may have. This is a little past medium. Like an Asian glaze. That's a that's good. It's a, it's a good taste too. Hmm. And this one looks good. This one right here scares me, so let's let's get down to it. This one has a glaze of some sort. Mmm, this one's a sweet, sweet glaze. That's a pretty high quality piece of fish. Mm-hmm, because it's not that fishy. I don't like the flavor profile as much, though. Okay. I, li I like it second to the garlic, and I'm, I'm a little scared here, because this is just like... This looks, I don't know, it could be... Well, I can't do anything with it. I mean, this. it's just a piece of salmon. Well, <laughs> yeah, just flick it in my crotch. I'm having trouble. I'm having salmon troubles. That's gotta be a non-voter. Yeah, it, so it's, between these two, it's kind of a toss up for me, but but I'm really loving this, this garlic cream sauce. All right. What you think? I'm going with this one. I actually like that flavor. Soy glaze, yeah. Profile better. It, it doesn't distract from the salmon. If you, I just don't love salmon that much, so. So Link, the one that you picked is from our casual place, Fish Dish, I for fifteen fifty nine. I like it. And Rhett, the one you picked is our fine dining ocean prime teriyaki salmon for forty eight dollars, which means you get to do the fancy pants dance. Teriyaki. Skew yourself. Screw yourself. Skew yourself. No. 
like, you know, it's a... Screw yourself, man. <laughs> You're too fancy. <laughs> You're too fancy. The next Boy, one $48. is from Bubba Gumps. It's Maker's Mark Glazed Salmon for oh. $22.99. That's cool. And then, a collab. Yeah, the last one is Frozen. It's Target's Good and Gather, and that filet would come out to about 6 bucks. Yeah, I see why. These are lobster tails. Oh. Th this one is distinctly different. That one's, yeah, it's just kind of like, it just kind of roll over and split open. Oh, thank you. What, do you want me to? I don't know, I didn't mean to do that. Do that. Now, are we gonna do a little butter dip? I see all of them yeah. have. This is the butter from the actual place, is what I've been told. Okay. So, frozen wouldn't have butter with it. This first stop, well, nothing to compare it to. Also, nothing to season it with, apparently. Um, it's not horrible. Actually, that's not bad at all. Yeah, it's not. It's super. Whoa! Oh, ah, gosh. it's live! Let's just, let's, we'll, we'll grab a hold, just like that, of the back, and then you can dip. And then I'll. You abandoned me. You're making me nervous. Okay. That one's better. This one's seasoned better, but I'm telling you, the lobster quality is not as good as the first one. It's not as tender. That's more rubbery. Well, I mean, you know. Lobsters are it's tough. A little behind the curtain here, but like, I mean, we these things are take out and then you probably have to warm it up, but where when it's frozen, it's just made here. You know? Yeah, but I'm so just. So we gotta, we gotta take that into account. Of course, we don't know for sure that I'm that's I'm just the, super surprised at how good that first one was. After looking at it? No, I'm, yeah, I'm just saying, like, flavor-wise, it really just was like a really solid lobster. That's better than this one for me. It's a little more tender, yeah? Mm. Mm. That sprinkle stuff on it is not as um, profound. Speaking of profound sprinkle stuff. Now, this one's got some profound sprinkle stuff. It's just, and they just lop the whole lobster in half. It's also, it's, yeah, it's a different presentation. Let me get it. Uh, Some of that lobster out of there. Please don't knock the butter over. Come on. And then a little bit of butter. Uh, I'm gonna put down that. That one's the least tender, but. That's some good Cajun flavor. Yeah, I really like that flavoring. I would not be disappointed, mm. honestly, with any, with of, any of these. I, you, you didn't like that one as much. You know what? I actually like that one the most. I haven't gone back to it. The, this butter is incredible, and that lobster is the, just the flesh of the lobster is the best lobster. That's how I feel. I'm just being honest. It doesn't look good. I think it's okay. frozen. Is it? Link, you've chosen red lobster. Yeah, buddy. For thirteen forty nine for that lobster tail. Did we get the Cheddar Bay with it? Cause <laughs> but Rhett. I'll biscuit it on. Rhett, you've chosen Sam's Choice, frozen. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> Which comes out to seven thirty-seven hey, per lobster I'm not ashamed. tail. Not bad at all. You and Sam are making. I like. Choices. I like what happened here. So then we have the sit-down restaurant, Smokehouse Restaurant, Australian lobster tail for forty-five dollars. Good gosh! Oh, but wait, because then we have the fine dining Arroyo Chop House Australian lobster tail for eighty-four dollars. Whoa! I just saved a lot of money. Whoa. Yeah, you did. In fact... I wonder what what does that bring our totals to? Yeah, the lowest possible total was twenty three fifty three, and the highest possible total was $166. Uh-huh. Rhett, your perfect meal total was seventy one twenty six, and Link, your perfect meal total was forty four ninety seven. Oh, wow. I... I yeah. I am a you've never bone. you've never come out on top in the fancy department, but even when even when I went to Sam's for lobster, yeah, I know <laughs> you, you're still cheaper like, than me by a lot. Oh <laughs> wow! I don't know what we've learned, but we're still learning. Sam's making good choices for lobster. Oh, That's what we've learned. Good choices. Subscribe and click the bell. You know what time it is. I'm Daria. I'm Mike. And we're climbing Athabasca Glacier. It's windy on that glacier. And you gotta watch your step on a glacier. Click the top link to watch us create stunning, one-of-a-kind seashell jewelry for our wives. Some good mythical more. And to find out where the will of mythicality is gonna land. Ketchup is a smoothie. Yeah, I put ice in my cereal, so what? That makes no sense. A hot dog is a sandwich. A hot dog is a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> what?